Hey guys, welcome to Run. Okay, now, this game is, you may not know because it's only addicted to about every single person in my school. I've never um, finished this game as you can see before, I've gotten up to L24, but I want to LP it, so. And the way to get to this game is that you, um, What's it called? Oh, you go to Google and you type and run. It's the second um thing. It's the second answer. I can't show it to you because I can't like resize it. So let's just start. Alrighty. Not that the beginning was not that hard, but you know. Oh, there's nothing to commentate when you're just jumping over holes. And as you can see, I suck dick because I just got on the first level again. Yeah. You really should, even if this is your first time, you really should not be dying on the first level. Do not follow my footsteps. Okay, I really do suck. <clears throat> Thanks to LB Curse. See, you should have, you should have finished it with ease like that. Not the um, crappy beginning I had. And if you and don't worry about like changing the screen, if you walk on the wall, change. Good. That was easy. Alrighty. As you can see, we're on all four now. So, yeah. So that's probably a good idea to get off that um part of the four because it's disappearing. So, and every time you go through ten levels, the uh, color changes, and there are fifty levels. So. Yeah, my entire school is addicted with this game. And that was the easy level. There is an option that you can make your own level. Okay, that was stupid. Can I make it? No, I can't. That was stupid. Very, very stupid. Guess here is like one part of the four. It's like you have to choose. Or you're dead. Already. <clears throat> oh. And there are no li there's no life system in this game. So you stay on the level you are if you die. But if you die, no matter where you were, there are no checkpoints. You go straight to the beginning of the level. So it's not like Mario, it just you lose all your lives and then you have to go back to the beginning of the game if you lose all your lives. There's no life system, but you go back to the beginning of the level. As in Mario, there are on um, checkpoints, but I'm sure a lot of you know that. Probably should stay here because that's the most most four. So and my next video, no matter what, will be a Pokemon video. So yeah, I just want to do need a break. So I just started doing random games, so I'll build up on. Over the summer, I just want to start them now. I go be able to finish them all my time. So, yeah. <clears throat> this one, this is a pretty easy level. You just have to keep on moving around. So, <clears throat> this is a pretty quick game. So, I might be able to finish it before the summer starts instead of like building up on it. So yeah, I might make a video of this for the video game it's 12, so, look out for that. Oh, this gets really annoying after a while, because a lot of dudes start getting 
harder and you start being like really hard levels and gets me pissed off. So please ignore the cursing. So I end up cursing. Which I most likely will. Parents nutrition advised. Thank God. Thank you. Thank you, God. Okay, I'm just gonna stay here. Uh, there's like this one level that's so annoying, like you have to keep on jumping with the level, like, you'll see it. It's not so by the end of this video, by the by next video, definitely. Oh, I hate this level. It's so annoying. You have to, like, hit the thing on the right time. And anyway, we're about that level, like, keep on turning by the end of the level, you're like... Um... By the end of the level, you're like... Yeah, you have to, like, jump into the midair. Oh, um, I forgot to mention. The length for how the length of holding down a spacebar is the length of how you will jump, except over time because of gravity he will fall down. So like that's like this is like if I barely touch the spacebar and that's if I keep my hand down on the spacebar for a long time. I just wanna mention that because for certain jumps that can really be helpful to know. I learned that the hard way and like certain levels I couldn't make it over. The thing I actually pretty sure it was like level seven, like there's a huge ditch that because nobody told me that if you put the how long you press on the space bar, that's how much of a jump you'll make. But do be careful, there are some jumps that look like you can make them, but you really can't. So if you don't feel like going back to the beginning of the level, just make sure just like yo know, I can't believe I made that. Um just make sure you can make it. I was surprised I made that, and there was one really lucky jump I just made on that level. We're only 7 minutes in, and we're already on, um, I don't know what level. In 17. Oh, so keep on getting more, more, more holes after you go through it. This is so annoying. I guess in this level, the strategy is to like not stay on one part of the floor for one period of time. <clears throat> okay. Oh, uh, this is the annoying one. This is the checkered the other one. I think. No, is that the other one? I think it's the other one. Next level. No, the green one. Sorry. Never mind. Okay. And I died. Fuck no. Yep, never mind, it's the checker field one. So let's try to do better, because we keep on dying. So. I want to stay away from the checkered field as much as possible. And as you can see, since you go back to getting the level, that was very annoying right there, because... I freaking made it to the end of the damn level. He's just like, and the guy's just like, okay, you made it to the end of the level, I'm gonna die now. While it's in space. And do, and do, do remember that you don't have to like completely avoid a hole. You could like walk over a portion and you still won't die. Like, let me try to show it. No, that's not a good idea. So, like, you pull like half your body over it, you will not die like that. Like you'll just make like a, a weird motion, and you won't die though. That was a death. Yes, it was. Um. Oh. Checkered field. Yes. Oh, that sucked. If I like turn, not a screen turn at the end of that, and it's like I turned and I went through the hole. Okay, this level is very annoying. You have to 
pull this to the right amount of time. And don't overdo it, or you like will overshot the overshoot the platform. So I was very lucky there. I was able to uh, finish that level with some ease, but thank you. That level in the past that level has given me a hell of a lot of trouble. Now this level. No problem until the end, and I beat on my first try. But if you don't jump at the right time at the end, you will fall off the side. You either overshot it, undershot it, or you will get on the platform that's in between, but you might fall off the side. So I am getting very lucky here. As we hit the 11 minute mark, about about 20 seconds. Okay, that was jerkish. Yeah, sometimes, like, You'll try to go and do and um go to the other side of the platform, but it won't work. Because I guess this game has a bad um service thing. Like in how in the first Mario game, you you really don't want to run if you want unless you're extremely good. If you running does risk your life. Well, at least Mario's life, not yours. <clears throat> I just died again. So, this is getting very annoying, as you can see. And I've seen some of my friends in school, like, get up to, like, do level 50. It does get a bit crazy. So, yeah. Okay, this level shouldn't be too hard, if I remember correctly. Alrighty. Yep, that level, level wasn't too hard. That was about three minutes to finish the level I've never beat before. Oh, I hate this level so, so much. Well, you have, you have to learn, like, how to jump. At the, like, right platform at the right time. You know, it gets annoying. Yes, oh my god. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, God. Oh, never mind. This level will never beat. Okay. You do that. Do that. And you die. Very nice. I think I had a good strategy for this once before. Like, I followed the same path and I just screwed up there. So. Yeah, okay. You jump up there. And you die, so you have to go right then. Okay. Oh, wow, come on. Would have won. This, this game does get very addicting, so. If you get addicted to it, don't feel bad, because my entire school is, including me, because the real, it's not, I won't say it's a completely and totally fun game, but it is very addicting, I'll leave it at that. It is sort of, it is fun, but it's mostly addicting. I say it's like 70% addicting and 30% fun. Ball around is a good game. Whoever made this is really good at making games, so. Oh god, that was stupid. Fuck. <clears throat> and I jumped the wrong way again. And I'm screwed up at the beginning, which really sucks. Okay. Let's see if we can finish this level in the next 30 seconds. I don't think we can. We might. Nope, goodbye. I'll see you guys next time. So, yeah, goodbye.